it's been quite some time since I've shared some of the new purchases that I've made for my wardrobe so I thought today we could do exactly that. I've got some items here which are autumn winter season appropriate and then some that are spring summer appropriate. You may know I have a bit of an all year round approach when it comes to shopping for my wardrobe. Now you may hear my little helper who is currently sitting in front of me throughout this video so um, please mind that he's just having a little bit of a nap. I'm really thrilled to share that today's video is in partnership with ShopTagger. As you may know if you've been following me for quite some time, I have been using this tool for many, many years to help me to kind of get the best bang for my buck when I am trying to make my budget stretch a little bit further. I've referred to it many times as my personal shopping assistant and I totally stand by that. I found it so helpful getting the alerts to tell me when something has gone on sale or if it has come back in stock because as you'll know when you are using the 30 day shopping rule sometimes you kind of take the risk of an item selling out or going out of stock before you even have a chance to purchase it and it can be a little bit frustrating when it's something that you've really had your eye on. One of the newer features of ShopTagger which I have especially been loving is the discount code tool. So basically when you're at the checkout you can do a scan using ShopTagger to see if there are any discount codes available rather than having to do a web search which would be something that I used to do all the time to try to make sure that I could make my dollars stretch a little bit further. So what I'm going to do is share my screen with you and show you how I use ShopTag and how simple and easy it is to use to make sure that you can get a really good deal when you are buying those key pieces for your wardrobe. So I'm just on the ShopTagger website here and the first thing you're going to want to do is sign up. So you just click here, get ShopTagger, it's free. I'm going to log into my account because as you guys know I've been using this for quite a few years now. And then to get the button, the first thing that you're going to do is slide down the left hand bar here and click get the button. And what it will do is take you to a, another web page which will allow you to add the button to your web browser. You'll see here now that I've installed the Shop Tagger button and it is right here in my toolbar. You can also download the mobile app so you can save items while you're browsing on your phone too. Shop Tagger are running a giveaway where you could win any purchase of your choice up to $1,000. All you need to do is download the mobile app and the Google Chrome extension and save at least one item by July 30th to go in the drawer. So now when I go onto a site, let's just on to shop up and have a look on here uh, let's see what's new I oh I love the look of this Beckham bridge dress this is lovely okay so there's a couple of things here first is that you can actually activate cashback now which is a new service that shop tagger have and there are a whole bunch of retailers where you can get a certain percentage back on your purchase which is amazing so let's just activate cashback uh, but also you can either click the button up here or you can click the button on the right hand side of your browser and you can see here there's 2% cash back. Here I can save this particular dress to one of my lists so I would be a size 8. I can choose when I want to be notified so whether there's any price change, if there's at least 25% off or 50% off the item so I always do any price change and then I can put a list so I'm going to add this to my summer wardrobe list and save it. After you save an item to one of your lists, you'll get a notification via email or mobile push if it has gone on sale or if it's come back in stock, which is something I find really helpful because I tend to abide by that 30 day shopping rule. So it can be a bit of a risk when I am wanting to add something to my wardrobe, but I want to make sure that it's going to be the right purchase for me. So now when I go back to my shop target dashboard, you can see here that the dress has been added to my list. One of the things that I like to use ShopTagger for is really mapping out my wardrobe and planning for different seasons or even just certain aspects of my closet. So you'll see here in the sidebar that I do have a number of different wish lists. So I've got things like my summer wardrobe wish list, which is where I saved that Beckham Bridge dress. I've got a bunch of other summer seasonally appropriate items in here. I've got a wardrobe basics wish list which is where I like to kind of pop all of those really basic pieces that I think would kind of 
help to bolster my core staples in my closet. I also have one for shoes, which as you know, is a real weak spot for me with my wardrobe. What I especially love about this is it's essentially a visual representation of your wish list, which I find really helpful when it comes to mapping out my wardrobe for the season ahead. Just going back to ShopBop, I want to show you one of the other amazing features of ShopTagger. So what I'm going to do is just add this really sweet puff pink top to my cart and go to checkout. Now, one of the things that it will do now is it will tell me whether there are any coupons or discount codes available. So it says that there is a coupon for ShopBop at the moment. So I'm just going to run that and see whether or not it will add an additional discount to my order. So you can see here that ShopTagger has added this code SUMMER, which has further reduced the price of this top from $255 down to $191. So that's a savings of approximately $65, which is a lot of money, particularly when you are working with a very specific budget. Just expanding really quickly on cashback as well. If you want to see which retailers are offering cashback through ShopTagger, all you need to do is go to the left-hand sidebar here on the shop tagger dashboard click cashback and then you can just go through and see here all the different retailers and what cashback percentages they're offering I'm gonna leave a link down in the description box below where you can go and check shop tagger out if you don't have it already and you can add the button to your toolbar as I said it is just such a fantastic and incredible tool to have at your disposal so with that being said I'm now going to dive in and share the items that I've purchased recently starting with um, and other stories so and other stories is one of those brands which I have been so curious about I watch a lot of UK bloggers on YouTube and I feel like it's the brand they talk about the most and when I found out they were shipping to Australia I just thought you know what I'm gonna put an end to my curiosity and see what all the fuss is about and I've placed a couple of orders now and I think my second order is the one that I've really valued and loved the most so I thought I'd share the two items that I picked up one is a black wool cardigan which is my favorite purchase that I've made from them so far. It is a really oversized kind of a fit. You will have seen me wearing this multiple times, I'm sure, already because I've had this on repeat. Uh, it is so comfy, so cozy. I love the rib detail down the uh, lapel here on the trim and the big buttons, which I find really go well considering it's more of an oversized fit. I also love the fact that the cuffs are really nice and tight. So it gives a little bit of a puff sleeve effect when you push the sleeves up your arms, which I really love the look of. Despite being 100% wool, it is really comfortable on my skin. I personally don't find this itchy at all. <laughs> if you're especially sensitive you may find it a little bit itchy but like I said I've had no issues. I've also been able to put this in the washing machine on the hand wash setting and it has come out fine. I've just laid it flat to dry so very happy with it. It has bubbled up a little bit so I do need to kind of go at it with my wool comb but it's nothing that a little bit of maintenance won't fix so very thrilled with this buy. The other item I purchased was a spring summer piece and it's just a very beautiful black linen midi dress. I saw this and it ticks so many boxes for me. I like the fact that it has the square neckline which is kind of trending at the moment. The puff sleeves which again are another big trend. I really like the smocking at the back which I thought would be really great considering that uh, you know I've gone up a couple of cup sizes so I wasn't really sure if my usual size would fit me and it has a slit up the front which I find is a really nice way to show a little bit of leg and it stops it from feeling too demure and then there's a ruffle at the hem. The quality of the linen is really beautiful. It's got a bit of a texture to it. Uh, it's really nice and thick so it's not sheer and I find it doesn't feel rough or itchy against my skin so really happy with it. I do feel like perhaps the sizing is a little bit big. I got the European 36 and it feels like I've got a bit of room around the waist so I am kind of toying with the idea of potentially getting it taken in so it fits me perfectly you know so it almost looks like it was made for me and that is definitely a tip when you are buying things and you know you feel like they're a little bit big in places if you get it tailored it is going to look so much more expensive than it actually was uh, but yeah that was another really great buy from and other stories so definitely one of those shops that I'm going to be looking to a lot more when it comes to adding those core items to my closet. So this next purchase was actually kind of the catalyst for this entire video um, because I received an alert from Shop Tagger that had gone on sale. It was a dress from Rode, Rhodes? Rode, uh, which I've had on my wish list for almost getting 
close to two years now. It's a black sort of long sleeved puff sleeve dress which is very sort of loose through the body. It has a braided belt and then a very full skirt with a lot of fabric. Now I've seen so many people wear this and it just to me looked like a really beautiful transitional season dress. Something that I could also wear in the winter time with tights. So I got an alert saying it was on sale and I decided to add it to my cart immediately because I didn't really need any more kind of coaxing or uh, any other push to kind of send me over the edge to make that purchase. Now unfortunately I did decide to send this dress back but I do have a try on clip so you can see what it looked like on me. And the reason why I sent it back was when it arrived I felt like I was purchasing something maybe for my fantasy self rather than for my actual lifestyle and it occurred to me that it didn't really fit into the more defined personal style rules that I sort of set for myself towards the start of the year and I will kind of link that blog post down in the description box if you want to go and check it out and get more insight into uh, I guess the direction that I wanted to take my wardrobe in for 2020. Uh, so yeah I, I was a bit sad about it because I really love the dress and I love the idea of it and I love it whenever I see it on someone else but it kind of just got me thinking and remembering that you can really appreciate how something looks on someone else but that doesn't mean you need to add it to your own wardrobe. But it was great that I got the alert from ShopTagger to tell me it was on sale because it led to this other purchase which was something that I've wanted again for a really long time and I am really really happy with. So there are a pair of earrings from a brand called Timeless Pearly and they're an asymmetrical earring. I'm gonna do close up so you can get a better look, but yeah, they're a pair of asymmetrical earrings and I just absolutely love this design. On one side, they've got two little pearls. On the other side, there is a blue ceramic bead and then a uh, bejeweled bead as well at the base. And I love the fact that you can take these little charms off so you can have gold hoop earrings, just a basic earring, uh, or else you can just jazz up your jewelry with the little charms. and. I've always really liked this asymmetrical earring look. It's something I've been wearing since I was about 20 or 21. And I actually like to do this just with earrings that I own. It doesn't have to be from the same brand because I find it looks a little bit more interesting, especially when you're wearing a really simple outfit, which as you know, I tend to wear a lot of basics. So I rely on things like really great earrings to help to kind of make it seem a little bit more interesting and a little bit more fun. So very pleased with these. The quality of them is very nice, but yeah, at full price, I just felt like they were a little bit out of my budget, but on sale, I think I got these 50% off. To me, it just seemed like a good option and I was quite happy to spend the money. So the next thing I want to talk about is a skirt that I purchased. And this one is from an Australian brand called Beckham Bridge. And I'm just going to there we go. Oh yeah, cool. Now Beck and Bridge is one of those Australian brands that I tend to keep my eye on because I find that while they also have really amazing going out dresses and a lot of sort of shorter mini dresses, which I feel aren't really in line with my personal style, they also do a lot of really great basics. Slip skirts being one of them and they have some really fantastic slip skirts with beautiful prints on them for spring summertime. This one in particular I just thought would be a great everyday Kind of a basic is an oyster colored midi skirt in this sort of textured satin and i managed to get it for about 50 percent off i think so to me it seemed like a really good price it's got an elasticated waistband which is fantastic if you are kind of going to be indulging and you want to look chic <laughs> at the same time really good for tucking things in especially if it's a bulkier sweater and i find for me items like this are pieces that i can really wear almost all year round because we do have such mild winters here in sydney i mean it's 22 degrees the day that I'm filming this video so, <laughs> so you can tell that it is summer weather in some countries. The other skirt that I purchased recently is from Aritzia. Someone mentioned to me a long time ago in the comments that they thought I would really love the Aritzia website and my gosh were they right? I have been browsing the new in section on Aritzia quite a lot which is something I need to stop myself from doing because it is incredibly dangerous for my bank balance because I want just about everything. I find that they do really beautiful basics just done really well and things that are a little bit more interesting as well like there'll be little details which I find elevate it and just make something feel a little bit more special than just a basic piece. So <laughs> onto the skirt that I bought. This is from a brand called Wilfred on the website uh, and it's just a 
black maxi skirt and a ribbed fabric, sort of like a rib knit, and it has this slit on here. I'm starting to think that maybe this slit detail is a bit of a trend. I can't really say I've been following those sorts of things. As you know, I tend to kind of just go for items that I like as opposed to trying to follow a trend uh, because I'd rather make purchases that are going to be long lasting in my wardrobe as opposed to something I only wear for a season. This was on sale as well, and I believe it was a really great price, like maybe $50 or something like that. It's got an elasticated waistband again, sort of sits quite high up on the waist. I will say one thing I noticed with this skirt, especially when I received it and I had it hanging up on my wardrobe, was that the fabric dropped. So it kind of sat a little bit higher when I first got it, and now it comes down to my ankle. I don't have a problem with that, but I do want to flag it. I'm 172 centimeters tall, but I have a 28 inch inseam, so I carry a lot more of my height in my torso. I just wanted to mention that because it means if you're petite, you could still wear this, it would be a maxi skirt on you. Um, the quality of the skirt is really lovely, hasn't pulled at all, though I have been really conscious not to wear things that might uh, pull at the fabric and create um, little holes or, or rips or anything like that. And it also washes well too. I put this in a delicates bag in the washing machine and it came out perfectly. I just laid it flat and just reshaped it and yeah really fantastic. I just have one more item to share with you. Now this is something that I would class as more of a spendy, splurge worthy item. It's a leather jacket from Balenciaga. Now you probably know I've already got a leather jacket from All Saints which I absolutely adore. But what you may not know is that I've been on the hunt for this particular leather jacket for six years. So when I purchased my Acne Studios leather jacket uh, six years ago when we first moved to Sydney, I'd been tossing up between buying that and this one here from Balenciaga, but I think the price difference was something like $1,000 to $1,500. And as someone who really wasn't earning a lot of money, it wasn't something I could justify. I decided to just keep my eye out on the pre-love market to see if it popped up, and it's taken six years for me to finally find one that was in good condition, and that was also at a price that I was happy to pay. So I managed to get this for less than a third of the retail price. Uh, it's just exceptional quality. I really can't describe how beautiful the leather is. It's very sumptuous and soft while still being very thick and feeling very substantial. Uh, it's fully lined as well, and I love the kind of more fitted aspect to it so it's kind of cropped and then it's tailored so it kind of fits you like a glove which I just think is very flattering. I sized up to the 38 in this because having tried it on previously I remembered that it was a smaller fit and I did want to be able to wear some of my knits underneath it. You know sweaters that weren't super thick but that would keep me warm uh, so that this could be a piece that I could wear all year round and I'm really really happy with it. I'm sure you will have seen this already in some of my videos but I just think it is such a classic item that I know I'm going to love and continue to wear for years and years. So that was my final purchase and those are just some of the additions that I've made to my wardrobe recently. I hope that you enjoyed this video and got a little bit of insight into some of the things that I've bought and why and I will leave in the description box below all the sizing that I got in case you wanted to go and check anything out. Again a huge thank you to ShopTagger for partnering with me on this video. As I mentioned at the start I will have a link down in the description box as well where you can go and check it out if you haven't already signed up to ShopTag and you aren't using it already. Anyway thank you again for watching and I will see you next time time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye!